Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about female reproductive system. You can see that the diagram is shown over here. Now this part is the main important organ of the female reproductive system. These are ovaries, pair of ovaries. This ovary contains lots and lots of eggs. These eggs are thousands in number and these eggs are produced during the, uh, during the baby child when it is inside the mother's womb. So these eggs are immature eggs, there are thousands of, of them in both the ovaries and these eggs they only mature when the girl, girl child reaches the puberty that means mostly the after the age of 12. So these eggs they start developing into matured eggs or they are also called ovum. So egg or ovum they are the female reproductive gametes that are already present in the ovaries of a girl child when they are born. But they are in immature form whereas in males the sperms they only start they are only being produced after the puberty or during the puberty. They are not already present in the boys during the birth. Now these long ducts are called fallopian tubes. Their main job is to take the egg from here. You can see that they are conical in shape. They just they are just just like this finger like projections and they help the egg cell to travel from here to a muscular chamber called uterus. So this muscular chamber is uterus. This muscular chamber ends over here. So this end portion of the uterus is called cervix. And cervix opens into a long hollow tube called vagina. Vagina is acidic in nature. It contains acidic liquids and the, when the during intercourse when the semen is ejaculated, the semen is ejaculated over here. So the sperms and semen and uh, they travel actually ahead like this. Okay. This is the inner lining of the uterus which is glandular and uh, vascular in nature. This is called endometrium. Inner linings. So this is the female reproductive system. Ovary, then fallopian tube, then uterus uterus ends up into cervix then the cervix opens into a long hollow tube called vagina. Now there are as discussed earlier that there are thousands of immature egg which are already there in the in the ovary. Now what happens is one egg is produced every month alternatively by each ovaries. So for example this month this ovary is producing the egg and the egg travels ahead like this then on the same month this ovary doesn't do anything. Then next month this ovary is going to release the matured egg into the fallopian tube like this and then that, that egg actually comes out and waits for a sperm to come over here. But if this uterus, if this uh, female reproductive system, if it does not receive any sperm, then this inner lighting, lining of the uterus, endometrium and this egg sheds in form of blood outside the female reproductive system. So that blooding which actually carries away this egg as well as the inner lining of the uterus is called menstruation. 
now apart from this the ovary also is an endocrine gland so it produces two main hormones called estrogen this estrogen helps in developing the secondary sexual behavior in females like uh, body hair growth then development of breasts then widening of hip etc etc and then there is an another hormone called progesterone this progesterone it it has a very vital role during the pregnancy so during the fertilization the fertilization actually takes takes place somewhere over here at almost the end of the fallopian tube and then the progesterone hormone is released and uh, it 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 actually prepares this uterus for the pregnancy